Hi everyone, this is Brad. Today we're taking a look at Google Classroom and we're going to take a look at an assignment and in this specific example it's a writing one. So you can see it's in here. You can see we have two turned in and one assigned. A few things to point out. One, if you want to review the work, obviously in the bottom right it says review work. So with that, what you can do, a couple things to point out. In the upper left you're going to notice that the names are right up in here that have already turned it in. So you can sort real quickly here by first name, last name, and then status if they turned it in. Now, when you're over here on the right hand side, so you can see Jack turned this in at 7.44 in the morning, um, you could add a private comment right away in here if you'd like to do that. Um, so you can just go ahead and post that to him and only he would see it. And again, it puts a time on there. Uh, if you want to return it, you can simply return it to him as well. So let's go ahead and return it. So just wanted to point that out real quick uh, for you. If you'd like to pop it out as well, you can pop it out here. You can also go ahead and see history. So history is just when it was returned, when it was turned in, and when it was assigned. So that's a nice thing to have, that history. Now, let's go back a little bit. Let's go back into here. Let's take a look at the instructions. With the instructions, oh, you can also see here that one was returned, what I just did. So if we view instructions, Something to point out. Here are the instructions, but student work. So why is this important? It's important because right away you can see right in here quickly and easily who has turned it in. This one's still assigned and this one has been returned. It even says right down in here. Now, if you'd like, what you can do is you can sort through this way. But if you'd like to see the work that's been turned in, you can open a folder for assignment. And that opens up Google Drive. Uh, something to also point out is the fact that with um, in Google Drive, you can search for classroom and then you can find all your classes and then you can search for old projects. Uh, what I am gonna do is I'm going to, in my next tutorial, show you how you could quickly print these out or what I found to be the easiest way to quickly print out all the assignments that have been turned in in classroom. If you have any questions, please reach out. Thanks for watching, take care, bye-bye.